of the head of the end time evolved he chose one of the beasts that had two horn like calam but he spoke like a dragon this is an indicator this is a clinical indicator when the doctor measure for when he measure for um, various indicator of this disease in the body the doctor use various cues by using temperature he can check the blood he can check the stool or the urine and he can check the pressure so jesus gave us the cues the things to measure to know to know when is he coming very near when is he coming just at the door when is his coming? Mary, when do we see the crown is about to rain? When do we see the harvest is ripe? When do you see the trumpet is about to sound? And Jesus told a various cue. One of the cue, Revelation verse chapter number 13, verse 11, that and one of the beasts had two horns like a lamb, a lamb of God, a lamb, I mean a lamb like a sheep, Sheep is known to be a docile. It's a docile animal. Very docile. And you can look after sheep and you may stay for one place like two hours. They can stay somewhere and sometimes they put their heads together. They stay together. They don't move. And they can eat one place the whole day, even five hours, six hours. Without moving, you still stay in the same place. For when you see those method olden days of herding, looking after the sheep, but when you have the goats, they keep uh, they're very wild. They go eating leaves, and they go everywhere. You can last when you're looking at the goat. No wonder Jesus said, "In the end time, God will separate sheep and the goat." When you look at the, the, the character of a sheep, it's a docile, harmless animals. And the goat are very wild. No wonder even the people who worship the dragon, they use goat as their sign. This a goat as a sign. The triangle is also depicted of the demonic evil loop. They use triangle as the sign. And there is also the goat. The goat is one of each sign of demonic worship because goat is a wide animal it represents the wide system that will enforce the wide living when you're marked by the man mark of the beast you'll be made wild that's why the bible says that he will cause abomination that causes desolation he will abominate christian he will abominate people he will cause them disorient this is something that has no living in it. We have you ever seen a disorated house, or, or a house that is, that is, um, has no life. A disorate, like making it dry. There's a time he put a stop to worship of the true God, the change of truth to a false truth, false, false, false Christ, false truth will come into into shape. So there will be a change of worship. So a goat is wild animals. So uh, the enemy used goat as one of his signs, changing. And that's why it's also in the Bible where Jesus said that in the last days, Jesus will gather the sheep, will go to the right hand of God, and the goat will go to the left. This is in the Bible. Even when Jesus said, uh, when you sleep, the enemy will plant a bad seed. There's a farmer who slept and uh, uh, an enemy planted a bad seed. You can sleep in your marriage and the enemy plant a bad seed in your husband. You maybe you go for a journey or you go or you relax in terms of helping and advising your partner or praying, not even staying around, but praying more because prayer is the key. Praying. Remember the centurion seven. He said, Master Jesus, you don't have to come to my house. Just say one word, and my servant will be your king. Just say one word, and my servant will be fine. You don't have to come to my house. So prayer can make things work even from far. Jesus said, I have never seen such a kind of a faith where somebody can say, 
Jesus, you don't have to come to my house because I am an army commander. I, I know my tell my soldier, can you bring that lorry? Can you bring those ammunition here? Can you go bring those people there somewhere? Bring them here with the, uh, f- within 10 minutes. I tell them and they obey me. Jesus, you can say the same for my sick soldier. Say just one word. He's very far, but he'll be well. So, if you don't pray for your partner, you don't pray for your work, you don't pray for your, for your salvation, you don't pray for your children, you don't pray for your future, you don't pray for your life, for your day, day activity, and, uh, and then you don't pray for your week, you don't pray for the year. In the, every year we start the year we pray. The enemy will plant a bad seed. The enemy will plant a bad seed in your farm. In your Christian farm, in your Christian house, in your marriage, the enemy will plant a bad seed. If you are sleeping, you can be sleeping. Most of the time, sleeping means sleeping in prayer. Jesus said, "Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing." And he went from Mount. He came from Mount Ori from praying. He made his disciples a deeper sleep because it was almost midnight. And he told them, "Please don't sleep. Wake up and pray. Don't enter temptation." We in the time when the enemy is lacking people like never before. The sheep are helpless without a shepherd. Nobody to tell them the truth. Nobody to feed them with the word of God. Tell them these are the last days. The enemy is using all form of demonic lure, chocolate, meat pie, ice cream, all things that make you happy. Whether it's money, whether it's immorality, whether it's... Uh, desire of the flesh and sometimes it's not even certain if you don't pray the enemy will come in your mind and give you desire when the desire come in your mind and they get ripe they become to sin they they both they give birth to sin and the devil knows that and he send things that your body like the body will never give be saved we are saved and saved when we walk and born of spirit of God. When you're born of God, you're born of the spirit. God is spirit. is walking under the new nature of the Holy Spirit. Walking under the word of God. Praying and walking with the word of God. So we are talking about the key indicators of the coming of Christ. Jesus gave one indicator. And Revelation 13 verse 11. He spoke like a dragon. Though he looked like a sheep. Like a horn. He had two horns like a sheep. That means that... Uh, for even when we are hunting like sh- fish, we put something it like like a worm. When you're hunting, even if, uh, you want to catch even chicken, you give them some food. Everything you use, something it like to trap it in a trap or dragnet. So the devil will come, uh, meaning he'll come like something very, very harmless. He can come and pretend to be, if the Bible says the Antichrist will be like a man of God, very docile. Very docile. But he speaks like a dragon. This is an indicator. Just like you check temperature. Why is this suffering, person suffering from? Just you can check like blood pressure. Indicators. What are the indicators of the coming of Christ? We see somebody or something, a beast, having two horns like a lamb, like a sheep, but speak like a, spoke like a dragon. And another cue on the same line is in Revelation 17 that he will sit on many waters many waters in many commentary and when you read even the same book it, it exemplified and see the beast you saw sitting on many water I will tell you the mystery of the and what was the water the water is the people so the, the, the beast will sit on people what does it mean when we go to church in a congregation we when we go to church in a congregation we see um, uh, we see sometimes people speaking in tongues and the bible says people have various gifts gift of interpretation of tongues and the gift of uh, of discerning spirit there are people who can enter somewhere and know that there is a, dis- a, a demonic spirit within he sends some evil things he can sense some demonic form of a spirit around some people have a gift of knowledge wisdom some have gift of prophecy uh, and they speak so god speak in people the same is satan satan is i mean imitator he imitate god in everything even in revelation 12 he wanted to be god so and he wanted to sit in the seat of god so god uses people as vessel god is looking for empty vessel to use in these last days to tell them people the truth the bible says in the book of uh, 
Daniel 11, Daniel 12, those who know their God will educate many very quickly. The gospel will be unstoppable. It doesn't matter whether people will be cut head because all saints will be under the knife because of of um, refusing the work of Satan and sealing of demonic seal. You will know it if you know the word of God. You will see this prophecy of sealed Daniel prophecy. Many who know their God will understand it. Those who don't know will not know because of the chocolate, ice cream, many beautiful life like WhatsApp, Facebook, internet. People will be cheated by the enemy. Though, whereas they are good, they help us to get rid of stress. But they will be so enticing, even WhatsApp, that, uh, social media, communication. People will be so much into them. You see many people chatting on the way, very busy. They can waste all their time chatting. But I tell you, uh, the enemy keep you busy so you forget to pray you forget to read the Bible you forget to go to that prayer every week to, to go to home cell group fellowship you forget to pray for your family you forget to pray for yourself to read the Bible so it, there will be a lot of chocolate people will be, there will be a lot of glamorous images people will walk half naked exposing their every form of their body so that you live with the dirty mind so you cannot live holy people will be wearing very attractive so you cannot live holy because uh, men are affected by sight. And when you see women exposing her body, it affects your mind. This is a key enemy strategy. Whereas people copy this from cinemas, from TV, from uh, celebrity, from various heroes they see in the sport, in the bar, in the film, they put the same attention, saying these are fashion of nowadays. But it's enemy strategy. Long time people used to put uh, long clothes, even in the movie, long clothes. But now movie, you you cannot see with your children. There are so much glamorous images and very dirty images. And this is the enemy to. Kick Jesus out of social media, out of TV, out of everything. The gospel is coming in the morning very early when you're sleeping. Whatever you should be watching to, to, during the day. But people like things that are so uh, enticing to the body. Of course, the body will always like things of the flesh because the body is not never gets saved. Those You only desire God when you receive Christ and read the Bible fast. And pray every day and wake up in the morning. Even a Christian who are really saved, if they don't pray, the next day the enemy will most likely have the upper hand. The enemy always have the upper hand in most cases when you don't pray. So we should pray. So God give us indicator of his coming. And uh, we are told that he will sit on many water. The beast will sit on many water. So that means people will be used as instrument to to, to speak on his behalf. In fact, the Bible says there will be uh, the one, uh, uh, the Satan will imitate the Holy Trinity of Jesus, God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The enemy, Satan, will come with the same similar analogy or similar Trinity, evil Trinity of Satan, Antichrist, and False Prophet. So, False Prophet will be used where the beast will be sitting on False Prophet. False Prophet will be like evil Holy Spirit having spirit in form of frog written in the book of Revelation 19 and the spirit in form of frog came out of the mouth of false prophet and antichrist and the beast and uh, they will be taking people to the beast through deception they report deception in your mind deceptive thought deceptive thought in your mind to deceive and delude you to give you delusion images delusion and deceive because the Bible says it. It is in the Bible. It's in Second Thessalonians chapter two that they will, but God will allow this to happen when you are sinning. When you are sinning, when you sin, the enemy will. God will allow you to be deceived when you are not doing the will of God. God will allow you to be deceived. You will be deluded with evil, counterfeit sign and wonder. Second Thessalonians chapter two lies evil uh, satanic deception you'll be deceived by fake miracles he'll make he'll be making these signs look exactly uh, they'll be uh, be so much convincing that you believe the lie so that it is have the lie to deceive them because they are sinning remember it is only those who are sinning who will be deceived because the bible say if you belong in jesus you cannot be deceived the holy spirit will uh, protect you so uh, you'll be deceived if you sin 
and God will allow it to happen because we are in time of judgment anyway. God is judging Christian. He's judging Christian. He's allowed them to be judged because in First Peter chapter four, the enemy will be judging Christian, and God will allow this to happen because the Bible says in Luke twenty one and Matthew twenty four that uh, uh, the the judgment will start with the Christian. And Christian will be judged, and Matthew 24 and Luke 21, they will be trampled by the Gentile. They will step on them, judge them, because they, or maybe they are sinning, they are desiring, the judgment will be passed on them. They will be burned with fire, they will be refined. When you sin, you will be washed till you remain a spot. The people who are Christian, the 15%, the 144, the chosen, the elect of God, will be cleaned. The Bible also says in Daniel 11 that. Sometimes they may stumble. Maybe sometimes they may feel weak and stumble. And they will be refined and washed again. But if you cannot change, you will be sealed with 66 number. You'll be sealed in the evil and you'll be babylonized. Even during the time of death, Cardinals, those who were overcome by the evil uh, immorality, the, those days of Sodom and Gomorrah, those days of Nebuchadnezzar, the evil, they accepted evil and swim into it and they were babylonized. But those who know their God, they stood like Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were not babylonized. Even this coming of Christ, people will be babylonized, enter into immorality, enter into uh, money, quick rich steam through demonic uh, devil worship on the, and worship of demon and doctrines of demons and evil angels according to first Timothy chapter 4 so remember uh, today exhortation and edification is about the indicators which is uh, an area God has given me uh, weight or uh, given me um, burden to to help and to pass and educate and prophesy and exegenize do exegesis, exegesis of the Bible, interpreting, uh, uh, apocalypsing, revealing the unsealed process, uh, the sealed process of Daniel, uh, acting as agency of revelation, revealing the truth, uh, the hidden truth of the Word of God, because God is speaking and it is revealing through the spirit of discernment and, and inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Uh, so uh, remember. We say that indicators. He looked, he had one of the beasts, Revelation 12 of 11. He looked like a lamb of God. No, not like a lamb of God. He had two horns like a lamb. A lamb, we you know, is a docile animals. But though he look very harmless, when you hear it speak, it speak very scary language, like a dragon, like Satan. That is a key indicator. Another one is it will sit on people or many waters. Like false prophet will be used to, as an instrument to seal people through deception. This deception is very prevalent and written in Second Thessalonians chapter two. And if I think Second Peter chapter two, uh, it's talk about false prophet also in detail, and many other prophetic book like Revelation, Daniel, and so there are many indicators. There's another one in Matthew twenty-four. We still keep uh, uh, talking about it, that when you see somebody sitting in the church of God, Matthew 24, 15, saying he's God, it's not physical building, but it's forcing worship. He'll have mystery power in Daniel chapter 8, knowing what you're thinking, where you're going to go. So he'll force your mind to think about him, not God. And if you try to worship God, he'll desolate you through anger, through uh, dirty mind. He'll bring trial. He'll work like Satan. That's what the Bible says in Second Thessalonians chapter 2. He'll work like Satan. He can bring enticing things to datify your mind. Body is very weak unless you pray or say First Corinthians 10, 13. You keep mentioning it. If you see temptation that look like it can overwhelm you, maybe it's a temptation like of Jesus. Temptation are enticing. Tribulation are painful. So things that your body like will be brought in your eyes. So you, you fall. You feel weak because of enticement. Or sedition. Temptation are very enticing. The tribulation are very painful. Jesus was told to be given a very expansive land. That is something pleasing. And uh, when you go, like when he was being uh, crucified, that is very painful. He was being uh, put uh, nails on his 
hard. That is painful to vibration. Temptation are enticing. The Bible says in Daniel chapter 11, the enemy will flatter with sinners. He will pray, he will sweet talk with them. They will be seducing spirit. Though some people may be used, it's not them, it's the spirit of the devil. The Bible says in First Timothy chapter 4, they will be seducing spirit. They seduce, and many people worship angels, hero angels, because they have ability to entice you. This is part one of continuing revealing the word of God. As it helped me and build you too, we need to encourage and help one another so we can stand strong during these days. They are evil days, please, I tell you.